What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster back here on this Monday night, January 16th, 2023. It's about 9.38 p.m. here along the West Coast uh, here in California. Latest quake, a 2.0 coming in to the area of California, to be exact. Did see some movement up north here as well with some activity kicking up into the Gulf of Alaska. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here. Across the region, there is that four-pointer coming in just into the, well, it's about the very extreme edge of the subduction zone level up here. Uh, the Gulf of Alaska region, 4.4, 16 kilometers deep. Um, let's see, it looks like that's the only one showing up on the USGS map. I noticed on the globe there is maybe uh, another one in there. Looks like a uh, 4.8, but that could be... Um, from the EMSC model, I believe. Let me see here where this, where this is at. Well, they looks like they downgraded it to 4.4 as well. So two earthquakes up there, but uh, technically only one. Yeah, so, so what's going on out here? What do we have for activity? Well, we have seen a little bit of uh, adjustment going on over here around the Izu Trench. Now, of course, over the last couple of days, we did see some deeper movement quakes, including a... Oh, what was this? A 6.3 last night, um, past the 24 hour period, obviously. Uh, but we did see a little bit of adjustment way down there into the Izu Trench. And now we're starting to get a little bit of surface earthquake activity upstream uh, with a more recent 4.6 at 111 kilometers. Uh, these other deep ones were uh, 405 and uh, 397 into that portion of the Izu Trench. Some very deep earthquake activity, adding further strain up into the locked areas. That's what we're seeing today with some of that activity kicking up here. 4.6 uh, into the Izu Trench, but a little bit more shallower. Uh, up here into the Japan Trench area, 4.3 coming in early this morning. That was 132 kilometer deep earthquake there, 4.3. Kurokamchaka Trench, it looks fairly quiet. Uh, the rest of the region around the Mariana Trench south here looks uh, very quiet as well. Now look on the uh, globe here for this area. Still shows some fours and some other smaller quakes within this area. We've been seeing uh, a pretty good amount of earthquake activity specifically within that zone in a pretty good cluster of movement uh, throughout this area. Uh, but with no major forward pressure movement, westward pressure uh, activity it seems to be stopping right there around the northern end of the Java Trench with very minimal earthquake activity around the rest of the plate boundary. Down here in the Vanuatu area, uh, looks like we did have one earlier this evening as well, 4.6, about 10 kilometers deep. No further activity to note here around the Fiji area or the New Zealand region. Uh, now, there looks like there was a 4.0 into a portion of the Kermadec Trench, it looks like, uh, from the GeoNet servers. Let's see what's going on here. That was a 4.0 coming in uh, earlier, 300 kilometers deep. Now, I'm not 100% certain on um, if there's any other earthquake activity out here. Let me go back here to the main page real quick 16 hours ago we know that's not right so let's go to the all magnitudes and uh, see what we got going on here 1.5 1.2 there's that 4.0 about an hour ago 300 kilometers deep uh, prior to that looks like a couple twos as well so some activity kicking up here nothing being reported from the usgs or the emsc in regards to any earthquake activity down there. Uh, the volcanic drums here across the area of New Zealand shows, uh, well, a little bit of activity. Lo this kind of looks like it's confined. Uh, I don't see the four pointer, but I do see some other activity up here. Uh, some smaller quakes, probably those twos and whatnot uh, throughout the last 24 hours. Uh, again, I don't see that four pointer, but that four pointer was deep and well north of the uh, North Island, New Zealand region. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here across the area. Again, nothing further west. Things are kind of uh, on the minimal side. Albania seen an earthquake 
much earlier this morning, 4.4 coming in there to that region. The Atlantic Ocean, calm, clear, and quiet for now. Not a whole lot popping there in that region. This activity here around the Chile area, Bolivia region, some fives kicking off earlier today. Most of that early this morning, and in fact, one from last night. Getting a little cluster of quakes once again up here around the Puerto Rico Trench. That's been kind of an off and on deal here over the last, well, I'd probably say last 30 days or so. This is 2.5 and above. Um, now the swarm area down here around the Puerto Rico Trench has been ongoing for quite some time uh, over the years. Uh, but this noticeable increasing activity around the Puerto Rico Trench, look at that, a little migrational fashion down there into that uh, deep region. Definitely seeing a little bit of a uptick towards that Puerto Rico Trench area, so we'll continue to watch that. Uh, down here into the um, Guatemala region and El Salvador. A couple fours from early this morning and late last night. Uh, now, as far as earthquake activity goes here around the southern plains, looks like the late, latest one here was uh, near Menco. I believe that's correct. 1.7 coming in at 7.9 kilometers. A little bit of activity spread out there today. Nothing major going on across the eastern portion of the country or Texas. Uh, not seeing any activity showing up there on the map currently. Now, Northern California getting a little bit of activity lighting up here, including one earthquake within the last hour, a 2.0. This one's about 22 kilometers deep into the Cascadia subduction zone, the mega quake, uh, mega thrust area. Uh, that's down there just upstream of the trimmer. And while we're talking about trimmer, let's see what we have here for the trimmer map. Only six epicenters. That's, uh, that's about it up there around the uh, Vancouver Island ranges. But we have been seeing a little bit of noticeable trimmer activity here over the last couple days, uh, except for today within this region of Northern California, uh, contributing to some of that earthquake activity we're seeing here on the map and at those uh, deeper levels, but upstream from the trimmer. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet, not a whole lot going on up there. Uh, general movement around california looks to be well it looks to be about uh i'd say below average fairly quiet down here in the south part of the state not really seeing too much movement kicking off here at all uh it may be trying to uh sometimes we'll see this northward uh, activity work its way down the coastline uh, so we'll keep keep an eye on see how this plays out uh throughout the night tonight big island hawaii most of the activity there confined to the Pahala area. I'm noticing a little bit of uptick in movement around the Pahala area, but uh, I believe all things are uh, as is, as they're supposed to be, far as the eruption goes there of Kilauea Volcano. Still an orange and watch uh, status for that volcano on the Big Island. Uh, latest update here on Kilauea Volcano. This was put out uh, today, the 16th. Looks like the summit eruption there of Kilauea Volcano within the crater uh, continues over the past 24 hours. All recent eruptive activity confined to the crater. We, we read that for many weeks and many months last year. Uh, no significant changes have been observed. Um, yeah, no, nothing, uh, nothing unusual going on there currently uh, across the area. Seismograph stations there. Some of them are still offline. Uh, let's see if we can find at least one of them that's going to be picking up some of this uh, activity. There's some of that earthquake activity listed up there on the map uh, from the USGS. Nothing major, no unusual seismic signatures. Just very typical there with that ongoing eruption of Kilauea Volcano. All right, uh, let's see. What else do we have out here? Um, space weather activity. Go ahead and make sure we got the latest um, info here from the solarham.net site. Uh, still kind of forecasting a 15% chance for an uh, X flare. M flare at 60 and 99% certainty for a C flare. Now we do have some massive sunspots facing us, but uh, it seems to be a trend here recently, this cycle where there'll be huge, massive thrown off X flares, uh, you know, on the eastern side or the western side. Um, but far as earth directed goes, it seems like they kind of wimp out and uh, fall apart. I, I don't think that's going to be the case. 
Um, some of these still look like they are uh, developing a little bit and getting some different uh, polarities there with their structure uh, in these sunspots. So we'll continue to watch it. But right now, things are just relatively stable in terms of flaring. Haven't really seen anything massive kicking up here over the last couple days. Of course, we did have that M flare uh, just about two days or so now. Um, or was that yesterday? That may have been yesterday. It's hard to tell with the UTC time. But uh, over the last 24 hours here, and yeah, that would have been two days ago. Relatively quiet, about maybe one or two C flares uh, of significance. Uh, but we are definitely crackling with uh, some C flare activity. Nothing major though into the M flare class or the X flare. Again, we'll keep an eye on it. 15% chance here of X flare probability. We'll watch it for sure. These things can spark up out of the blue. Uh, Aurora forecast is very minimal, so not a whole lot of uh, potential seeing this. A uh, very slight chance up there into portions of northern Canada, but that's about it. Not a whole lot uh, in the forecast for that either. Uh, we don't have any major coronal holes facing us, and no major CMEs have been produced uh, that would um, amplify this three-day geomagnetic forecast. So we'll see, right? I'm going to see how this plays out. Um, let's see what else we have here. I'm going to check out Earthquakes Canada. I keep forgetting to check those guys out. Uh, I know sometimes they don't function on the weekend um, and, and holidays. Today is a holiday. Got one earthquake up here. When was this one? This was on the 15th, 2.2. Uh, New York, Santa Cruz, New York area. Five kilometers deep. But uh, the rest of Canada looks fairly quiet up here. Some of this activity there from a couple weeks ago. All right, let's see what else we got here going on in the weather department. I know there's uh, one more storm about ready to hit the uh, west coast. That will be, look at this weather event though on, uh, looks like Wednesday. Some potential severe weather event here in the portions of the south again. These guys have just been getting hit hard with severe weather over the last couple of years. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in the springtime with the uh, transition to uh, La Nina from La Nina to a neutral status. Uh, we'll see how that uh, affects the severe weather. You know, nothing's typical, and there's you know you can call it cycles and whatnot, but there's not all these cycles are not the same. There's nothing that's typical about anything. Um, but here in California, one more storm there. It looks like on Wednesday into Thursday. After that, things dry out uh, for California. And the rest of the country, there's some cold temperatures dipping down into the uh, Rockies, northern Rockies area, also into California, which kind of brings in some colder, drier air. And as of right now, it looks at least until the 2nd here of uh, February, we remain dry out here along the West Coast. Now, a lot of people are, yeah, we need a break from the rain, you know, enough of the rain already. Well, you know, our, our lakes aren't full. <laughs> uh, we're trying to fill them up. The, you know, the rainwater has done quite a bit from all these uh, past couple of weeks of a uh, good amount of rain, but they were darn empty. So uh, we need more rain, and uh, hopefully we get it. I'm not ready for 115 degrees. No way, not even. I'm not looking forward to that. Um Alrighty, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here, and um, where's our latest quake at? Where'd it go? Oh, it's hiding right here, right? 2.0 there in California. Well, let's see. I don't, like I say, I don't really see anything unusual going on out here, uh, just aside from the noticeable uptick in the Gulf right now. Uh, again, watch the west, west Coast here, potentially for that movement to work its way down into California tends to happen that way uh, so we'll keep an eye on that all right folks have a good night please stay safe out there and um i'll catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime have a good night